Hello and welcome. I hope that you're enjoying this series so far on shell commands for your Linux shell. And today we're going to be looking at a program called iNotifyWait, uh, which allows you to monitor directories and files for modifications and things such as that and just them being accessed. So let's go ahead and the command uh, you would have to install. So you can sudo apt install iNotify, let's see. I notify tools on Debian based system. I don't know if it might be called something different. I already have it installed, so I don't need to do that right now. So I'm going to say I notify wait. And I'm going to say dash M. And I'm going to look at a directory that does not exist at this moment. So I'm going to hit that. It's going to tell me it doesn't exist. So let's go ahead and, and create that real quick. So I'm just going to say make dir. So that now exists. I can now run this command. And it's sitting there and it's watching and it's waiting. I'm going to open up another shell here, and I'm going to echo test into a file inside that directory. So I'll say echo test into uh, temp examples my file, or move file, my file. And as you can see, up here it tells you that the, in this directory there was a file created. It was my file. It was opened, it was modified, and it was written to and closed. So. Uh, that's monitoring a directory for any changes made to it. Let's go ahead. I'm going to come up here. I'm going to uh, uh, kill this command, the control C. And now I'm going to point it at that file. I'm going to say my file and hit enter. So now it's monitoring that file in particular. So I can come back down here and I can run that. You know, I can keep adding to that. Or actually, I'm not adding to it. I'm replacing it each time. Uh, and uh, let's see. I'm just curious if I do this. Yeah, it just. It just doesn't say whether it's added to. It just tells you that it was open, modified, written to, and closed. So, uh, but that's just monitoring that one file. If I add to a different file, you see nothing happens up there because it's only monitoring that one file. But if I come back up here and run the original command, which is looking at the directory, now whether I'm adding to file two or the first file, it will log it up there. Or not log it, but let you know. It will monitor it and tell you. So let's go ahead and um, change that a little bit. Right here, it's telling you whether it's open, closed. So let's go ahead and, and monitor this file again. Let's see my file. What happens if I go vim and I say to my file? Up there, it tells you, you know, what was happened to it. And I can say write file. And it tells you, you know, attributes change. So it's telling you a lot of stuff here. But let's say we only want to be monitor, mon um, notified of the modifications, not when it was open, not when it was closed, just when it was modified. So let's go ahead and kill this command. And we're going to run that same command again. Uh, but instead of just M, we're going to do dash Q and dash E. Now, uh, and then type modified here modify. So now you can see it's only telling me when it's been modified. So I saved it there. I can write to it this way and it's only telling me when it's been modified. Not that it's been open or closed or written to, just that it's been modified in some way. Um, and there's a lot of options. Again, look through the man pages for more information on that. Let's go ahead and send a system message out. And there's different ways you can use. You can use send notify. I guess there's another, uh, not not uh, notify send. Uh, there's notify dash OSD I've seen people use uh, to get GUI pop-ups. But another command that we can look at is the wall command. A wall command, I can say wall test, and it sends that command to every shell running. It broadcasts it, says who sent it. So if you're on a system with multiple people and everyone's using a shell, you can run that and it just sends that message, says who sent it and when and from where. Uh, to the entire system. So that's great. You're working in another shell. You may not be looking at this, but you'll get a notification up on the screen when things change. So let's go ahead and modify our little command up here so we can incorporate that into it. So we're going to run the same command we ran looking for when it's been modified. And this is my first thought when I was testing this out. Read, I'll say line, and I'll say do, and I'll say wall dollar sign L and done. Now, if I come down here and let me open up two shells here uh, like that. So you'll see that it goes to both shells. So I'm going to modify that file. Boom. So all my shells got a message saying that was modified. 
So that that's awesome. I get that. Now, there are certain times when the if you're modifying the file in a certain way where you're going to get uh, multiple outputs. So here I got the one wall command here to it, but sometimes there's certain modifications that it seems to modify it twice and um, you get double messages. I don't necessarily want double messages. Uh, so especially if you're using one of the GUI applications, you'll get multiple boxes up on the screen. So I'm going to go ahead and kill this. If you look in the man file, uh, the man file actually has a slight variation on what I did. Uh, so basically it's the same command, uh, but what we're going to do is we're going to be sure to say redirect dev null here, uh, semicolon, and we're going to say uh, instead of doing while here, we're actually going to write it, so we're going to say while this command is running, and we don't need the dash m here according to them, so we're going to say QE modify this file, dump into while, and then we're going to say wall, and um, we're just going to say here, file modified. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And in this particular scenario, it should work the same way. Here, it's instead of saying the output from the command, it's actually just saying our message. So that's a slight variation there. Um, and again, in the example I'm giving, it's not doing two messages, but uh, when I did test it in certain ways, you'd get double messages, especially with the uh, uh, notify send. It was popping up multiple boxes. This variation on the command uh, works a little bit better. Um, so that's again in the man file. Uh, and there you can, you know, if you're concerned, maybe you think, uh, you know, there's some reason you want to modify that. You want to know when it's been updated. Uh, maybe you're checking a mail file, although there's better ways to check your mail file using proc mail and stuff. Um, but you're waiting for a file to be modified and you want to be notified when it happens. You can use the wall command, but I uh, notify wait and the, again, the package on at least the Debian based system is uh, I notify wait dash tools. Go ahead, install that. And now you can monitor when files and folders are modified and send yourself messaging. I mean, here I'm doing a broadcast out to everybody using the wall command. Uh, we again can do GUI where you get the little box with something like notify send, but you can also have it send you emails or texts from your computer so that, you know, you're not at your computer, your phone will get a message uh, wherever you're at. I do thank you for watching. Uh, again, this video is part of a series. Be sure to check out the full playlist. Uh, as always, uh, you can